Hello students, this is 1.42. A particle moves along the plane trajectory y depending on x with velocity v, whose modulus is constant. Find the acceleration of the particle at the point x equal to 0 and the curvature radius of trajectory at that point if the trajectory has the form of a parabola y equal to ax square. So, trajectory ki equation aapko given hai, aapko particle ka acceleration find out karna hai, x equal to 0 par, aur radius of curvature nikalna hai is trajectory ke liye. Do questions hai, ek bar parabola y equal to ax square, aur ek bar ellipse x by a whole square plus y by b whole square is equal to 1, a and b are constants here. So, first consider, first make an approximate graph for this. It is y equal to ax square. And we see that uh, this is a parabola 2 power in x and 1 power in y. So, we see that the parabola is 1 power in the curve is coordinated. So, it will be the face of the parabola will be along y axis because 1 power is in y. And the equation of that parabola is y equal to ax square. At x equal to 0, we have to calculate the radius of curvature and acceleration. Find the acceleration of the particle at the point x equal to 0 and curvature radius of the trajectory at the same point. If trajectory ki equation is this, then first equation y equal to ax square differentiate with respect to time. It will be dy by dt is 2ax dx by dt. By diagram, we see that x at x equal to 0. By, by diagram, at x equal to 0. Its velocity tangential will be that and perpendicular velocity, velocity along normal will be dy by dt. At this point, dy by dt and dx by dt, the correlation between dy by dt and dx by dt is this at a general point. But if we consider this point, x will be 0 here. So dy by dt will be 0 at this point. So at x equal to 0, dy by dt will be 0. It means y component of velocity will be 0 because particle is moving 100% along x axis at that point. And since particle's velocity modulus is constant, it implies that tangential component at this point is 0. And by diagram it is clear that at origin point a tangential equal to acceleration along x axis. Because here we draw a tangent x axis ke along here. So, a tangency ax 0 ke equal hoga or ax ka matlab hai d square x by dt square. So, it is equal to 0. So, origin par hama itani information simil rahi hai ki at x equal to 0 dy by dt is 0. For if x is 0 then dy by dt will be 0 definitely. And tangential acceleration at that point will be acceleration along x axis. Ye koi compulsion nahi hai ki tangential acceleration kisi curve ka hamisa ax ho. But at this point it is clear the tangent is along x axis. So, tangential acceleration has the same meaning as ax in that point. And we see that this will be 0 because velocity is constant. So, tangential acceleration will be 0. Because this particle ka velocity constant hai. Us particle per tangential acceleration 0 hi hoga. Agar modulus of velocity constant hai. So, if modulus of velocity is given as constant, then tangential acceleration will be 0. So, d square x by dt square is also 0. Now, double differentiate this equation. We will get d square y by dt square is 2a x d square x by dt square plus dx by dt and again dx by dt. This is by product rule. Now, jante hai differentiation. Then d square y by dt square is 2a x plus ki d square x by dt square plus ek bar dx by dt plus ki x ka dx by dt. And on taking all these values, so at x equal to 0, the y component of acceleration is equal to 2a y component of acceleration is 2a, it is 2a and 0 plus dx by dt whole square and it is 2a v square because since at x equal to 0, dy by dt is 0, so complete velocity will be dx by dt and it is given that velocity is v. Velocity ka formula v equal to dx by dt i plus dy by dt j hota hai dy by dt j but at this point dy by dt is 0 so only tangential velocity will be there velocity will be along tangent only, only because tangent is along x axis so dx by dt will be the whole velocity of the particle so at x equal to 0 v will be dx by dt dx by dt modulus will be equal to v 
so it has v and d square y by dt square so this is the acceleration along y axis and since at this point there is no acceleration along x axis so this can also be taken as total acceleration i say the total acceleration nahi hai acceleration ka y component hai but yahan hum dekhte hai ki x component zero hai so jo y component hai wahi total acceleration so total acceleration of the particle can be taken as total acceleration of the particle is 2 av square In modulus form, if and if you want to write it in vector form, then it will be two a v square j, and there is no component of y. So this is the acceleration. Now for finding radius of curvature at that point, we know that this total acceleration is acting as normal acceleration at the point. So this a total can be taken as a normal, and a normal is v square by r at that point. And R can be written as v square by a n. So v square, v square means at this point, at x equal to zero, velocity is hundred percent v square. It is dx by dt component only here, and normal acceleration is two a v square. So it is one upon two. So radius of curvature at that point is one upon two. So this is the way to solve. एक तरीका और है इस जब मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया था कि radius of curvature को directly one plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 by 2 divided by double differentiation of d square by dx square so solve kiya ja sakta hai but this is general approach ki aap is formula ko use kiye bina apply kare ek baar phir samjhe y is x square is the given ka differentiate once aur is point ko dekhte hue iski conditions prelim d by dt will be zero aur kyunki is point par tangential acceleration zero hona chahiye aur ittefaq hai कि इस कर्व के लिए इस पॉइंट पर टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन एक्स एक्सिस कह रहा हूं सो इफ टेंजेंशियल इज 0 इट मींस एक्स कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन इज 0 सो ओनली वाई कंपोनेंट विल बी देयर एंड व्हाट इज वाई कंपोनेंट इट इज बाय कैलकुलेशन 2 ए बी स्क्वायर दिस कंपोनेंट इज वाई कंपोनेंट बट दिस इज वर्किंग एज अ टोटल एक्सेलरेशन फॉर द पार्टिकल बिकॉज़ टेंजेंशियल इज 0 इज एट दैट पॉइंट देयर इज नो एक्स एक्सेलरेशन ओनली वाई डायरेक्शन एक्सेलरेशन इज देयर सो दिस इज वर्किंग एज टोटल एक्सेलरेशन total acceleration is v square by r so radius of curvature can also be obtained by this similarly if we use the second it is x square over a square plus y square or v square equal to 1 and if we draw a general plot for this this will be like this it is an ellipse and at x equal to 0 these are two points where x equal to 0 so discuss at this point suppose this is the point where x is 0 and again we see that at this point velocity will be tangential and tangential velocity will be parallel to x axis so definitely at this point at x equal to 0 dy by dt will again be zero and since velocity is constant so tangential acceleration will be zero because velocity is constant so d square x by dt square is also zero here so at x equal to 0 this and this is our side t it will be 2 by a square x d square x by dt square plus dx by dt whole square the difference is on first part plus 2 by b square and y d square y by dt square plus dy by dt whole square and this is the expression and now put the values in this expression and at x equal to 0 we will get 2 by a square and x will be 0 at that point at x equal to 0 and dx by dt dx by dt is v because velocity is v and y component of velocity is 0 so definitely complete velocity will be along x axis so dx by dt is equivalent to v as in previous discussion plus equal to 0 sorry plus 2 by b square y at that point y is equal to Where x will be zero, y will be either b or minus b. So y can be taken as for this point y will be minus b, and for top point it is b. So put b and d square y by dt square. We have to calculate and dy by dt at that point is zero. 
So on solving this equation, 2v square upon a square equal to minus 2 by b. Uh, use plus minus both the sign. So we can do both points for each other. It is minus plus. It is minus plus. It is minus plus. It is side by side. So minus plus 2 by b d square y by d t square. And on cancelling, this implies that d square y by d t square equal to b v square upon a square minus plus. So this is acceleration's y component and since no x component of acceleration is there so total acceleration equal to b v square upon a square with minus plus and this is total acceleration of the particle it means in this problem since tangential acceleration is zero so total acceleration will be normal part of acceleration and if we use this as normal acceleration then by formula this is normal acceleration so treating this as normal acceleration b b v square over a square and if this is treating as normal acceleration then this will be equal to v square by radius of curvature so radius of curvature will be now a square by b this is the radius of curvature at that point so a curve ke liye radius of curvature a square by b hoga or total acceleration b v square by a square so is tarike se aap is problem ko solve kar payenge ek general note is aur kara do ki 1.41 ko jo humne solve kiya tha to रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर और टोटल एक्सेलरेशन कैलकुलेट करना था रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर की वैल्यू ऑप्टेन हुई एस के टर्म में टोटल एक्सेलरेशन हमने ऑप्टेन किया था रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर के टर्म में तो वहां पर एक स्टेप हमसे मिस हुआ था हमने आंसर को टोटल एक्सेलरेशन के आंसर को रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर पे डिपेंडेंट लीव कर दिया था तो आप लोग 1.41 जो इसकी पिछली प्रॉब्लम है उसमें आर की वैल्यू जो मैंने कैलकुलेट की थी उसे पुट कर लें और टोटल एक्सेलरेशन की वैल्यू ए और बी के टर्म हमारे किटम में आंसर इसीलिए नहीं दे सकते क्योंकि रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर इज एन अननोन फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम लेकिन वो स्टेप मुझसे मिस हुआ था मैंने आंसर को रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर के टर्म्स में छोड़ दिया है तो आप लोग रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर की वैल्यू जो कैलकुलेट की है मैंने प्रॉब्लम में उसे आप पुट कर लें और आपका आंसर रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर से फ्री है तो इस तरीके से इस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व किया थैंक यू